I think the idea of sort of, you know, fortuitous events is, is an interesting one. Kind of the, the flip side of that to me is, is the obstacles one might face as one kind of pursues a career in, in any career, I suppose. But can, can you think of any like major sort of challenges or obstacles that you've encountered in your career that you've either had to work around that prevented you from doing something you wanted to do or in the end the, the obstacle produced kind of new unusual insight that was actually beneficial any any sort of reflections about that I, I think one generic sort of obstacle not unique to, to me in my situation at that time when I started at Berkeley or anything but but generally facing younger people starting in the field is sort of choosing problems to work on because you become acutely aware that you only have a finite amount of time and energy and even though you're interested in all sorts of things, there's a reason so you get into the field because you find all these different topics interesting. But in terms of doing research and scholarship, you got to set some priorities or make some choices and, and that, that's a, I think a, a challenging task for, right. uh, especially for a young faculty member. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the biggest thing for me as a, as a young faculty member was making similar kinds of choices to what Port's talking about. It was um, you get interested in like this big question, right? right. And you want to you wanna have, find some answers to these big questions. But those big questions require, you know, three, five, six years. You know, you always figure you can get a study done in three months, right? You can't. And so <laughs> balancing off right. the, the magnitude versus the doability yeah. of projects, yeah. I think, was the big, biggest challenge that I confronted. Because, because, you know, this publish or perish thing, for especially, you know, for academics, yeah. it's, a re it's a reality that you need to grapple with. Right. And... And I think making choices to make sure that you grapple, effecti grapple effectively, both short term and long term, is yeah. is an issue. Oh, I was just going to say a, 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 an analogy that I used, thought of back then when I was trying to decide, you know, which topics to work on and research on is sort of the, what I call the stove analogy. You have. Mm -hmm some front burners and back burners on the stove and out of oh, the front good. burner you have some article that you've invested a lot in you've got the results and now it's just a matter of translating that writing it up just and and see if you can get it published but you can't spend all your total energy on that and have nothing in the back burners ready right. to go from the colder right. burners right. to the hotter burners so right. i was sort of sort of keeping some uh, array of, of between front and back burners. Yeah, sort yeah. of a kind of a pipeline of, of research, uh, obviously, is real yeah. important. 